I'm my team investigator Adam Walser. Last year, Florida lawmakers passed new safety rules affecting thousands of condominium complexes like this one. But a local HOA president says that those new rules could pose huge financial burdens on homeowners. So how many buildings do you have here? Dan Severson previously worked as a health and safety officer at a nuclear power plant. But in his retirement, he's looking out for the welfare of 96 condo owners as president of the 9th Fairway at Green Dolphin Condominium Association. It's one of 27,000 condo associations in Florida. The maintenance guy and I walk through this building every week. The units were built between 1982 and 1985 and are located in Tarpon Springs, about two miles from the Gulf. They're all concrete slabs and they're all metal stud construction. But finding affordable insurance has been a problem. Our last property insurance policy was 50 pages long. It is so full of exclusions and high deductibles that it's almost like no insurance at all. This year, quotes came in as high as $600,000, 13 times the amount the association paid in 2019. It could quadruple the cost of living in this condo, and that would be devastating to a lot of fixed income senior people. And there's another big concern, a law that passed after the Champlain Towers condo collapsed in 2021, killing 98 people. But I know that they are going to have engineers looking at this uh, to, to try to identify what, what, what happened. An investigation revealed concrete columns in the pool deck weren't constructed properly and didn't meet building codes. Documents also showed the Champlain Towers condo board was warned about problems, but put off recommended repairs. State Senator Jason Pizzo, who represents Surfside, introduced a bill calling for statewide condo inspections. There are four and a half million condos in Florida, and we need to make sure this doesn't happen again. The law, passed in a special session last year, requires condo buildings three stories or higher to have structural inspections 30 years after construction and once every 10 years after that. If the building is near a coastline, inspections start at 25 years. Most importantly, this is a, a win for the families of Surfside. But Severson worries the law will force condo boards to put millions in reserve. Structural integrity studies must be completed by the end of 2024. And reserve accounts must be funded for future major repairs, including replacement of the roof, load-bearing walls, and the foundation. Nobody wants a Surfside to happen again. Nobody wants unsafe buildings. We all want the best for all of the people that live here. The point is that they're going about it wrong. Severson worries a worst case scenario could force his association to raise monthly dues from $500 a month to 3,000, forcing some residents to move and making units in the complex nearly impossible to sell. And that's almost twice what the average person collects in social security and it's less in a lot of cases than our senior citizens would pay in assisted living. So it is devastating. Severson says his association approved a nearly $3,000 assessment this year to cover insurance increases and repairs. He worries the association's financial picture could be much worse next year. See, I've asked the lawyer, what would happen if we just refused to comply? And she said, well, you'd go to jail. My team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan taking action for you.